Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm going to share with you a bunch of mail that I've received recently because I have a ton of Christmas cards that I want to share and some presents for uh, baby June <laughs> and also one for Jesse and a couple for myself and I wanted to share them so I can put them away <laughs> and I want to hang my Christmas cards up. Uh, you will see me in this Britney Spears shirt in the same space for a few days in a row because I am bulk recording so that I don't have to record over Christmas. <laughs> so um, there'll be a lot of videos that look the same but they'll be about different things <laughs> because um, I don't want to have to record Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and stuff because we're going to be busy. But anyways, let's get into it. I got a ton of Christmas cards so you might want to get you something to drink, maybe a crochet project and uh, just sit back and enjoy them. <laughs> so, okay, there's a lot of them. This first one is from Sandy in New York. And I love her uh, card matches and her envelope. They match together. This is, whoop, let's fall out. Really pretty uh, Christmas card. It's white, so it's kind of blown out. But super cute. And the envelope does match it, but I don't want to show it because it's got her address on it. Thank you, Sandy. This, this envelope matches its card too. This is from Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. So pretty. And um, thank you so much, Crystal, for sending me one. I, I feel honored to get a card from you because I know that you struggle a lot. So the fact that you took out time to send me one makes me feel good. So thank you so much, Crystal. All right, this one, let me make sure these match. Sometimes I get the card. This one's from Carol in, uh, oh gosh, Arkansas. <laughs> I, I forgot what, I couldn't remember if it's Arkansas or Arizona. But Arizona's AZ, I think. Really pretty card. So thank you, Carol. This one is another one that matches. I think this is a Thomas Kincaid card. No, this is a uh, True Meaning of Christmas. I did get some Thomas Kincaid ones, though. This one is from Anna in California. Get my hand up there. So pretty. I love these Christmas scenes like that. Thank you, Anna. <clears throat> this one... Make sure it matches. Oh, it's the card. Ah! This is from Leona in Ohio. So pretty. I love this. Thank you so much, Leona. This one. Oh, this is uh this is from Sandra in Tennessee. I know her. <laughs> well, I don't know her, but I know her from through YouTube. <laughs> so pretty. I love the ones that's like scenes like this. My phone background and my computer desktop is stuff like this during the holidays. I just change it out for every holiday. <laughs> this one, let's make sure these match. Yeah, okay. This one is from Ashley in Oklahoma. It's got glitter. Look at Santa, he's glittery. <laughs> That's so cute, thank you, Ashley. This one is from Crystal in Tennessee. Is that right? Yes, okay. Ooh. This is a print of an oil painting. Is that what she said? Yes, that her husband did. That's nice. It looks like a photo. <laughs> I can't believe people are all so talented. But thank you so much for that, Crystal and Crystal's husband. <laughs> okay, this is one of the coolest things I've ever gotten in the mail. It's a postcard, but it's like fabric. Okay, woo. <laughs> it's a little different, man, but it's, it's like fabric. Well, I don't, yeah, it's a postcard. It doesn't have her address on it. But it's from Virginia. It's stamped in Virginia from Vicky. But it don't have her address. But look at that. Is that not the coolest thing ever? That is so neat. I thought that was so cool. And it's so cute. I might have to frame that or something because that's just so cool. All right. This one is, whoop, this is from Janelle in Florida. This is such a cute card. I love it. Thank you, Janelle. She also sent a package, which I'll get to that in a little bit. This one, is this Thomas Kincaid? This one is Thomas Kincaid. <laughs> this is from Sabrina in California. I love Thomas Kincaid pictures. They're always so pretty. Thank you, Sabrina. This is another Thomas Kincaid, I believe. Yes. This one is really pretty. It's glittery. This one is from Nikki in Florida. And her husband. The snow is glittery. It is so pretty. Thank you, Nikki. There's still more cards. I got a lot of cards. Okay, let me move some of this stuff around. Let's see here. Okay, that goes with that. 
trying to get all the cards pulled out. Okay. This one is from, okay, I got this one today. This is from Marsha from Made by Mom, uh, Marsha Mom, Marsha. She lives in Florida. Oh no, she doesn't live in Florida anymore. She moved to Michigan. But she sent me one of her homemade cards and it's so cute. It's a little bear and the little embossed snowflakes. It's so cute. And it's got confetti in it. Snowflake confetti. <laughs> and I was telling my husband in the car, I bet it's got confetti in it. And, uh, cause she always puts confetti in the cards. And then she also said that I'm the only one that got confetti this year. So that made me feel awesome. But, uh, so it's got my little snowflakes in there. I'm going to be keeping those. Those are so cute. Thank you, Marcia. I love your cards. They're always so beautiful. All right, let's make sure this envelope matches with this. Yes. Okay. So this one is from Karen in Georgia. She has a YouTube channel too, but I'm spacing on what it's called. A yarn addict with Karen, I believe. This is a really pretty card. Thank you, Karen. I'm pretty sure that's her channel. If I can think about it, I'll link everybody who has channels down below. This one is from Marlene in Oregon. <laughs> Santa, so cute. What's he holding? Oh, he's holding like the naughty nest list. Thank you, Marlene. <clears throat> this one's from Bonnie. She has each channel, but she doesn't post very often. But um, she's got the coolest address label. It's like a circle one. It's really cool. But it's a really pretty scene with like believe in, in the snow. <laughs> but her channel is um, Strawberry Bonnie. I don't forgot. Yeah, Strawberry Bonnie Crochet. So I'll link it below too if you want to check it out. Okay, this one is from Meg. Meg in Missouri. Pretty Cardinals. Thank you, Meg. This one is such a cute card. Hold on, it's got stickers on it. Let me move, move them so I don't spill them everywhere. This one is from Pamda in North Carolina. I'm going to fold her address down. Look at all the stickers on the, the envelope. And then there's one in the back. Whoop! Lisa Frank stickers. And then the card is a Winnie the Pooh one, which is so cool. I don't think I've got a Winnie the Pooh card. But it also came with a bunch of stickers inside of it. I'm not going to show them individually, but there's like a little pile here of just cats and little llamas and just cute little stickers that I can use. So thank you so much for that, Pamda. I love um, stickers. They make me happy. All right. Let's match that one. Yeah, okay. This one's from Tammy in Florida. Cute little puppy. Thank you, Tammy. This one, I ripped it pretty bad. <laughs> I'm bad at ripping these. It's from Ann in uh, MD. Is that Minnesota? I can't remember. <laughs> but it's a cute little, woo, joy one. And it's got like, the joy is written with snowflakes. It's really pretty. Probably can't see it good because <laughs> of the lighting. But thank you, thank you, Ann. Alright, this cute one is from Louise. Oh, wait, this is my Aunt Louise. <laughs> I was like, Knoxville, Tennessee, and then it's from Louise. This is from my great Aunt Louise. She lives in Knoxville, Tennessee. But it's cute. It's got a puppy. And the envelope matches it. That's so cute. I was like, Louise, Knoxville, that's, that's my aunt. <laughs> this one is from the Dablin Hook. And it's so stinking cute. It's from Real. She comes. She comes out with the cutest uh, cards the last few years. And this one's got little the little octopuses, but it's like Grinch octopus. It's so cute. I want to do stuff like this eventually, but I always forget until it's last minute. And I'll probably do photo cards next year for my personal family members and stuff because of the baby. Um, but I'd like to design something cute and crochet for all the crochet people. I need to do that like early next year. So that I can be prepared. <laughs> but that's so cute. I love her cards too. Last year's was also a crochet one. And I think. I can't remember if she did it in the year before that. I don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember anything. This one is from Connie in Michigan. This is like a cool glossy card. That's cool. And her handle is Wildflower Loops. Which I do see that a lot on YouTube. Thank you Connie. Thank you, Rail. I've heard thank you. <laughs> and my Aunt Louise. I don't think she watches my channel, though. I don't think she even knows about it. 
And this one is from Heather, which is the, uh, the Crochet Witch Heather. And of course her stamp is a Halloween stamp. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> and, but she sent me this really pretty card. It's got glitter on it. So pretty. And I love it. So thank you, Heather. Okay. Lots of cards, I told you. <laughs> and then I got a card here. <clears throat> That's stuck to the sticky part. This is from Tracy in California. Really pretty card. I saw that Tracy from I Love Libby Crochet got this card too. And mine also came with the cute little tea bag. And if you didn't see Tracy's, it's a... Uh, on Christmas Day at half past three, brew yourself a cup of tea. I'll think of you, you think of me, sitting around the Christmas tree. That is so cute. This is something I would totally buy to craft for. <laughs> and it'd be easy to make, I imagine. I just don't like making little fiddly projects. But she also included a really sweet note that uh, practically made me cry. <laughs> and I appreciate your note so much. And I hope that uh, you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And I hope 2022 is better for everybody. Uh, you know, ever everyone's had a rough few years. And it just, it's sad when you have to um, go through so much stuff in a row. And then hopefully the whole world will have a better year next year. But thank you so much for the card, Tracy. Other Tracy. I was talking about two Tracys. All right. Then I got this little package from Shell. Where's the card at? This is Shell from Shell Shell Crochet. <laughs> And it's from Canada, which is cool. So I got Canada stamps. <laughs> My little nerd heart loves that. I used to collect stamps when I was a kid. But, uh, and it says number one on it. And she says, P.S., a second one's coming. So thank you for that. It takes forever for International Mail to get here. Because she signed us December 8th. And I just got it a few days ago. That's like the people who get Christmas cards for me in Canada and in Australia. It's going to be a while before you get them because I mailed them out late. But anyways, she sent this super cute, okay, first of all, I got scrunchie, which I love. I love her scrunchies. She sent me a whole bunch one year, and one's got bells on it, and I just love it. I do wear them often. I love scrunchies. I'm wearing a neon yellow one right now. <laughs> and she also sent some stickers, which I love. So these ones right here are, say, um, handmade with love, especially for you. And it also says thank you. So that's super cute. These ones are just yarn balls with hooks in them. I wonder where you got these. Oh, it's, it says the Prairie Planner. Probably Etsy. And then these ones are bigger handmade with loved ones. So cute. And the little book that she included is a baby book. Well, it says Bright Ideas, but it's got like baby, theme, you know, like kid themed things. But it's Bernat or Bernay. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Handicraft or Cotton. Bright Ideas. It's got 17 projects to crochet. But it's got cute like things for kids, which I'm assuming is why she sent it to me. Because I'm having a baby. <laughs> but there's all the... And they're bright and colorful. And those like little amigurumis and monsters. And pillows and a little doll. What else is in there? Some dish rags. Look at that little dog. You just sitting on that pillow. But these are so cute. So I can't wait to get the second one. I'm be equally excited for it. So thank you so much, Shell. For um, thinking of me and sending me a scrunchie. <laughs> can never have too many stuff like that. Alright. This is my Joanne's fire. Oh, here's another card hiding. Who's this from? This is from Hope in West Virginia. You were at the bottom. I didn't see you. Sorry, Hope. <laughs> but thank you for the card. All right. Now, these little books, these are readers. I got these from Valerie at Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. She got them for Jesse. And um, I'm assuming it's because I was complaining in one of my vlogs about not being able to find level one readers. Um, so she ordered some for him which is so sweet and I am going to wrap these up I gotta talk right. put them on a tree and I'm, I was going to put them from Santa but I think I'm going to put them from Santa's helper Valerie <laughs> or like Santa's elf Valerie something like that I think it'd be cute and also um Nana, Nana Grace Nana Grace I always forget to say it right she mentioned to, to not write like from Santa with my hand wet and I'm not I'm having my sister make fancy looking North Pole tags on her cricket to put on this from Santa gifts to make it look like they were, you know, sent in. <laughs> but anyways, here's our the little readers. So this first one is Cooking with the Grinch, which I'm personally excited about. And he needs these for Book It. You know, I don't know if that's everywhere, but you, you kid reads books and then they get like a free pizza at Pizza Hut, a free personal one. So he needs these step ones because he can't read the bigger ones. And uh, he has to read the books to us for it to count. <laughs> so that's the Grinch one. This one is Tyrannosaurus Rex. And them little robots that's on there. 
the story bots he used to watch them on youtube when he was little or now he watches his people play video games <laughs> vroom zoom bud and big shark little shark so i'm super excited for him to open these and to read them to us it's gonna be so cute but i think i'm gonna wrap them i guess i'll wrap them all together because they're so small but i'm gonna put them um from Santa's helper Valerie or something like that <laughs> so that she still gets the credit but he still thinks it's from the North Pole <laughs> all right let's see all right now I got a few packages to share with you guys <clears throat> baby gifts this first one is from Ann and I didn't keep the envelope so I'm not sure where you're from Ann but that doesn't matter so it had a card in it really pretty like uh, wood scene and she knitted a cute bright yellow baby blanket and I love knit stuff because it's just so much squishier than crochet stuff unless you use like a really loose stitch oh, it's so squishy but it's so pretty and bright yellow I can't wait to wrap June up in it it's gonna be so cute so thank you so much for that it is adorable I love it I'm putting everything in a clothes basket so I could take it out easier and then this next package is gonna be crinkly it's got tissue paper on it this one this came the same day that other one did. This is from Marin. And I also didn't keep the packaging, so I don't know where, where you live either. But it's such a cute little card. Get little baby shoes on it. It's so cute. And she sent some clothes, which I was like freaking out in the car because I was like, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> this is a nine month size. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be so cute in that. Oh my gosh. And if she's anything like Jessie, she'll be wearing this when she's six months because. Jessie was a chunky monkey, and I'm pretty sure she's going to be big. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, okay. And this one is also nine months. It's so like a little dress. Oh, I still can't remember having a girl. It's so sticky cute. And this, this little set. Oh, that's still all stick together. Let me break it apart. Eh. Eh. Okay. Little tiny shorts. Are these? These are nine months as well. Little shorts with an adorable strawberry onesie. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and it also came with this little shirt. Oh my god. This is so stinky cute. They just don't make boy clothes as cute as girl clothes, so I'm so excited to use all these cute clothes. And then the last one, also nine months, has ice cream cones and butt ruffles. <laughs> She's gonna be so cute. Oh, thank you so much. These are so adorable. It's got little tiny pink bows on it. That's just so precious. Mm. I'm so excited to use those. I can't wait to take pictures. Everything that y'all sent, I'm going to put her in it and take pictures so you guys can see your stuff being used. And it's going to be so cute. Okay, I'm going to move this tissue paper really quick. Whew. All right, there's one more thing I got to share you. Show you. This is back to when I said Janelle from... I don't forgot. <laughs> Do you know who sent the Christmas card? Sent something for um, the kids. So she she messaged me and said that there was package coming, and then there was an issue with it because it was being shipped by um, UPS, and they don't ship to post offices. So there was like you know we had to go back and forth, and she sent it to my mom's. Anyways, not important. But she ordered these cute stuffed animals for the kids. So first is June, and it's got her name on it. Look at the little bunny feet. And the little outfit does come off, so I can clean it, and so does the hat. It is so cute. It's a little teddy bear. Jesse's is cool as heck. First of all, he was just complaining the other day about me getting rid of one of his dinosaur stuffies. And it was the same type of dinosaur. I tried Sire Top, and it's because he never did anything with it. And it was just a regular, boring stuffy. This is, like, a really cool stuffy. First of all, it's ginormous. Look at that thing. Second of all, it's got hidden compartments all over it. Each one of its legs has a pocket, which he has filled with toys. <laughs> so each leg is a pocket, right? He's got, he's got all kinds of stuff stuffed in there. And then his back is a pocket full of Legos. <laughs> and his mouth has a zipper on it. I don't know if he has anything in the mouth. But then the tongue even is a pocket. Look, he's got a little character in there. <laughs> that is so cool. He loves this thing. Actually, I take it from him to show it in the video, and I can take it back to him when I get done. Because he was laying on it like this, <laughs> playing a uh, game. But look at that. It also has his name on it. 
And that is just so cool. I know he's gonna be sleeping with this. And I told him, I was like, hey, you could hide your money in there and stuff. And he's he's probably gonna be taking this with him everywhere. And probably every time he goes to his grandma's, he's gonna be taking it so he can take his toys in the dinosaur. There's no telling what he's all got in here. He got hand sanitizer right here. He is so funny. All kinds of toys just stuffed in its legs. I think that's all the pockets. I don't know if there's any more secret ones. But that is so cool. That's such a thoughtful gift for um, him and her. And he loves that dinosaur. So that made me super excited. And it's the same dinosaur that I got rid of. The um, same type of dinosaur, Triceratop. But it was just a regular stuffed animal. And the reason I got rid of it is because it was just in his room all the time, taking up space. Um, so now he's got a cool one with pockets. So he likes this way better. And he's been taking it everywhere with him <laughs> since we opened it yesterday. So, um... Thank you so much for sending that to know. He absolutely loves it. And I love this. And I'm sure June will love it too. Whenever um, she's old enough to know what it is. <laughs> Alright. Last stuff is stuff for me. This came from the same person who sent me some safety eyes. Like a week ago. So ago. And um, I just realized I left something in there. But I don't really want to go get it. I'll just talk about it. And insert a photo. Anyways. This came from. Her name is Mary. But that's all I'm going to say. Most people's names are Mary, so. But she sent me a whole bunch of safety eyes of the day, and then more came. And it looks like she bought pretty much all the safety eyes that I had on my wish list, which is crazy. But I appreciate it. These are big ones. Does it say on here? These are 20 millimeter safety eyes. They're just black. And the little um, washer thingies. And these ones are really cool. I've been wearing these ones for a while. These ones are 14 millimeter dragon eyes. And if you can see through the packaging... They're like really cool dragony tops. And then they also have their little washers with them. So I'm going to make it some really cool looking Amber Roomies next year. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Because I got all them safety eyes now. And then she sent me a book that I've been wanting for a while. And as soon as I opened it, I dropped it and bent the corners. But it's okay. Because I'm not one of those weird book people who freak out. But I did forget when I opened this book. But she sent me the Harry Potter crochet book. I tried to win this on Rebecca from Rebecca uh, Crochet. You're in a pajamas. There you go. <laughs> um, Vlogmas, she gave away a copy of this, but I didn't win. But um, I was going to plan on buying it eventually, but she bought it for me. I'm so excited about it. I love Harry Potter. And my sister loves Harry Potter. It's going to be a while before I start any of these projects, though, because these are all, like, bigger projects. Like, more um, advanced projects. So, I'm definitely going to wait until after the new year. But I definitely want to make Dobby. That's a happening. <laughs> and there's also a blanket in here that I want to make. And sweat. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Let me get to the blanket so I can show you. I'll probably make a lot of this stuff. It just take me time because they're like bigger projects. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Hold on a second. Okay, right here. I want to make this blanket because it's got the crest and it's got the, all the colors for this, the different um, houses. <laughs> I forgot. I'm a Slytherin, believe it or not. I've always been sorted into Slytherin, and I think it's because uh, of my personality traits. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. I love this. I can't wait to use it, and it's so beautiful. But yeah, as soon as I opened it, I dropped it, and it landed right on this corner right here. So these corners are all mushed up, but that's okay. I'm not like one of those people who keep my books in pristine condition. I'm actually the kind of people that people like that hate because I write notes in my books, and I, I dog ear them and stuff. But, um, yeah, so all book lovers hate me, but when, if I have a book that's mine, I'm going to do whatever I want with it, you know, but I'm so excited about this book, I can't wait to use it, I just have to wait until after the new year, and probably after the baby comes, but that's everything except another Monopoly game came, uh, but it was a different one, and it's in there, I'm going to, I'll take a picture of it and insert it, and it was from Connie, and y'all, he ain't even upset that there's three. We just keep kind of rotating them. And he picks and chooses which one he wants to play at the time. Because they're all three different. So it just worked out perfectly that um, three different ones came. <laughs> and he's been loving it like crazy. We play it multiple times. Usually daily. He's been at his grandma's for a few days. And they even played it with him. So uh, I'm sure we'll play it some point today. <laughs> and um, it's just cute. I love that he loves it because that's one of my favorite games. And as he gets older, I can teach him real monopoly and it's gonna be so fun and then these little kid monopolies can be saved for june and then i can do the same thing with her <laughs> so it's gonna be so much fun um it's just so much fun playing with him i absolutely love board games and the fact that he loves them too makes me happy but we've been playing board games with him since he was like two so uh because me and Devin both like board games anyways that's all the happy mail <laughs> so it's 25 minutes long and um uh, that was a lot but it's mostly because i had a ton of christmas cards which now i can hang up and i'll probably leave my christmas stuff up 
through a lot of January just because I really don't want to take it down <laughs> and because I like enjoying my cards and stuff. Um, sometimes I just stand there and like reread all the notes and stuff and it's just so cute. And I appreciate you guys' uh, love for me and my family. It touches my heart. It really does. And if I talk about it too long, I'll start crying. But um, just thank you all for all the stuff that you do send. Even, you know, just the cards and the gifts, which are never necessary, which I always say that. But they're always appreciated. And especially that dinosaur. <laughs> Jesse absolutely loves that dinosaur. So I gotta go give it back to him. And I'll see you guys in another video. <laughs> Bye, guys.